Governments refusing to confirm whether the SIS has been investigating suspected Israeli spies who may have been operating in Christchurch during and after the February earthquake. The Southland Times is alleging the SIS ordered checks into what it saw as suspicious activities, including an Israeli earthquake victim carrying multiple passports. Three Israelis were killed in February's earthquake. The Southland Times says the Security Intelligence Service feared at least one of those might be a spy. Ofer Mizrahi was crushed in a van on Gloucester Street with three other Israelis. He died, but his companions survived and were flown out of Christchurch just hours after the earthquake. The Times says Mizrahi was carrying at least five passports, but the Prime Minister won't confirm this. I can confirm that I have no, no knowledge of misuse of a New Zealand passport Doesn't by those individuals. The Prime Minister has confirmed he received multiple phone calls from Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in the hours after the earthquake. The Southland Times also reports that an Israeli search and rescue team was refused permission to enter the red zone. Meanwhile, the Israeli ambassador has dismissed as science fiction any suspicions that the Israelis caught up in the earthquake were Mossad spy agents. This isn't the first time Mossad's been accused of operating in New Zealand. No, it certainly isn't. Back in 2004, there was a very serious diplomatic incident between the New Zealand and the Israeli government when four men were alleged to be involved in a, essentially a passport scam being run out of Auckland. Now, two of those men were caught. They were eventually convicted of passport fraud. Two got away. Now, crucially, one of them, one of them who got away was later named as a suspect in the assassination of a Palestinian Hamas leader at a Dubai hotel last year. Are you aware of an Israeli national being found in New Zealand enough to be equipped with five passports? Well, I can't confirm the number of passports. Why not? Because I don't know. Are you across the are you, are you across the van crash there that uh, within 12 hours three Israelis have left the country and it seems yes. well, well, what's what's that all about? Well, I'm just not in a position to comment about do those you, matters. Do you have any why, reason why to you believe not that Israeli because I don't comment on that? Do you have any reason to believe that Israeli intelligence operatives or people from Mossad or any other Israeli intelligence agency were active in Christchurch? Well, I'm just not in a position to comment on those matters, and I'm not going to. Why not? Because I don't think it's in the national interest to do so. Well, I'm just not in a position to comment on those matters, and I'm not going to. Why not? Because I don't think it's in the national interest to do so. But it is in the national interest of New Zealanders if those yeah. people have used a Christchurch earthquake in a tragic situation to somehow advance their ends. Don't you owe that to the people of New Zealand to tell us? Um, well, if I believed it was in the national interest to discuss those matters, I would, and I don't think it is. Well, is it, can I is it it anybody, any person who's found a Mossad well, all I can say is I think you're jumping to conclusions. Uh, I can only confirm that there were three people that were killed that was of Israeli nationality. Um, they were the people that Benjamin Netanyahu rang about. Um, he did ring to offer um, support to try and locate them because initially uh, it was uh, at least with one or two of them the whereabouts of the individuals. Uh, if we look at actually what drove 9-11, mm. um, those people that uh, put together all those those explosive devices and the whole plan, 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 explosive devices and the whole plan. Since September 11th, more than 60 Israelis have been arrested or detained, either under the new Patriot anti-terrorism law or for immigration violations. A handful of active Israeli military were among those detained, according to investigators, who say some of the detainees also failed polygraph questions when asked about alleged surveillance activities against and in the United States. A highly placed investigator said there are, quote, tie-ins, but when asked for details, he flatly refused to describe them, saying, quote, Evidence linking these Israelis to 911 is classified. I cannot tell you about evidence that has been gathered. On the day of the 9-11 attacks, former Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was asked what the attacks would mean for U.S.-Israeli relations. His quick reply was it's very good. A Mossad surveillance team made quite a public spectacle of themselves on 9-11. The New York Times reported Thursday that a group of five men had set up video cameras aimed at the Twin Towers prior to the attack on Tuesday, and were seen congratulating one another afterwards. And at that point we were taken for another round of questioning, this time related to our allegedly being members of Mossad. Our purpose was to document the event. They were seen by New Jersey residents on September 11th making fun of the World Trade Center ruins and going to extreme lengths to photograph themselves in front of the wreckage. Everywhere you look, you find a Zionist agent. A conspiracy by Israeli intelligence. 
die Idee von sein TKW die Land von, 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 von den Palästinensern von den Arabs ist starting the whole fight. Not Arabs the problem, not Jews the problem, not Judaism, not Muslim, only Zionism. But a group of Zionists at the same time was quietly negotiating an agreement with the Nazis to allow the immigration of German Jews and the transfer of their assets to Palestine. That deal, reported in August 1933, was the transfer agreement. Palestine, sparsely settled by Jews at the time, was radically changed as a result. Now, they had, they had many problems, technical problems, when they, when they wanted to create this state, their dream. Uh, well, firstly, they wanted the backing of the Jewish people. They wanted to transform the whole Jewish identity and Judaism into a secular, uh, nationalistic entity something totally different. All the rabbinical authorities, universally, understandably, were in total opposition to this type of ideology and this movement. Remember, these people were in France, in Europe, in Germany, these, these stars of this movement. Um, so therefore, the ones who knew them well were the rabbis in Europe. So they were the first to put up the alarm about these people, even before they came up with the concept of going to Palestine. Judaism is spirituality, a religion of compassion to emulate God. Zionism has been created 100 years ago by atheists, people who have a horrid religion, who want them to transform Judaism from religion to nationality. German Jewish settlement of Palestine was, for a time, official Nazi policy. These photos of Jewish life in Palestine, along with a lengthy text, appeared in 1934. In the Berlin paper, Der Angry. The publisher, Hitler's propaganda minister, Josef Goebbels. A Nazi Visits Palestine was the title of the multi-part series. A medal was struck by Goebbels in commemoration. On one side, the swastika. On the other, the Star of David. Well, I'm just not in a position to comment on those matters, and I'm not going to. Why not? Because I don't think it's in the national interest to do so. It's 